Hello all new fans, my name is Philip, and welcome to an all new video tutorial. Today I have a great new project to teach you. We are going to walk you through how to make these incredibly adorable mug rugs. These make amazing gifts for friends and family and they are super fun and easy to make on your embroidery machine. You can also use them to add decorative flair to your own furniture or even make and sell them online at craft shows. However, before we get into the video, please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons and leave us a comment about what you think about this project and what kind of machine embroidery in the hoop projects you'd like to see in the future. Also, I wanted to thank all of you who have previously liked, subscribed, and commented on these videos because you, the channel, is off to a wonderful start. So before we get into the tutorial, I want to let you know that this project does require a 5x7 hoop. I strongly suggest if you're at all interested in in the hoop machine embroidery, you're definitely going to want to have a machine that takes a 5x7 hoop. I personally own two embroidery machines, both of which are capable of using 5x7 hoops, and both of which are fairly cheap. I have a Viking Designer J35 that you see here that cost me around $1,100, and also a Brother PE770 that was only around $400. I'd recommend either machines. They are both great. All right, and lastly, some of the materials you're going to need for this project are tearaway stabilizer, batting, and your outside fabric, which I just used, fat quarters. It's fun to mix a plain fat quarter on the stitch side with a decorative fabric on the non-stitch side. You'll see more of what I mean when we get into the tutorial. Also, you'll want to go over to allnohoop.com and find the mug rug files we currently have for sale over at the website. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started on making these fun and adorable in the hoop mug rugs. First, we're going to add tearaway stabilizer to our hoop. Keep in mind that this in the hoop project requires a 5x7 hoop. So let's now hoop up our stabilizer and take our hoop with stabilizer back over to our machine. Over at our machine, we're going to load up our USB stick and turn on our embroidery machine and let it boot up and do its initialization and ready itself. And then we're going to load up our file. For this tutorial, I'm going to be making the wake up and smell the coffee in the hoop mug rug, so I'm going to load this file now. And then next, I'm going to attach my hoop with just the tearaway stabilizer to the machine. Next, I'm going to run stitch number one. Stitch number one is a die line and will show us where to lay our batting. Once stitch number one is complete, let's lay our batting over the die line. For my batting, I'm using felt because it's what I have available. However, you can use felt or any traditional batting of your choice. Once the die line is covered with the batting, run stitch number two, which will tack down and hold the batting to the stabilizer. After stitch number two is complete and the batting is secured to the stabilizer, remove the hoop from the machine and take it over to your workspace. Over at your workspace, cut closely around the outside of the tack down stitch and remove the excess batting. After you have cut closely around the tack down, we're going to return the hoop back to the embroidery machine. Back at the embroidery machine, we're going to reattach our hoop and run stitch number three. Stitch number three is going to be an indicator line or die line that's going to show us where to lay our two pieces of front fabric for the mug rug. After stitch number three is complete, remove the hoop from the embroidery machine and take it back over to your workstation. Next, you're going to want to cut out two pieces of fabrics, each about six inches by six inches. Generally, for the fabric, I like to use one that's a solid color and one that is a busier pattern. The solid color I use on the left where the majority of the stitching of the pattern take place. And on the decorative fabric, I use that on the right side of the mug where there's less stitching. Also, always be sure to iron your fabrics. Next, we're going to take our two fabrics and first lay down our solid color over the larger of the two halves of the die lines in the hoop like I have here. Then place on top of the first fabric your second fabric. Place this fabric with the pattern side down as it's going to be reversed in the next step. We're going to now return this to the machine to be secured or tacked down in the next step. 
Also, this next stitch is the first stitch in the project that can be seen in the finished mug rug. So I'm going to change my thread to a color that looks good in my mug rug. After my thread color is set and my hoop is prepared, I'm going to return the hoop to the machine and run stitch number four. Stitch number four is a tack down that will hold these two pieces of fabric in place. After stitch number four is complete, remove the hoop from the machine and take it to your workspace. Over your workspace, you're going to separate the two fabrics, bring the pattern fabric to the right and over the smaller part of our project. After this is done, we're going to return the project back to the embroidery machine. Now we're going to reattach the hoop to the embroidery machine and run stitch number five. Stitch number five will run a tack down stitch around the entire project holding the fabrics in place. When this is done, go ahead and run stitch number six. Stitch number six is going to be a decorative quilting that runs over the entire front of the mug rug. Starting at stitch number seven, you'll want to reference the PDF for the mug rug you are stitching out. This is where we'll begin stitching out the design part of each of the mug rugs. A PDF color chart is included with each mug rug and shows you what colors to use for the pattern. These designs run from stitch number seven all the way until one stitch before the final stitch. It's clearly marked in the PDF. In this step in the video, I'm completing the stitch out for the wake up and smell the coffee mug rug. I'm going to stop at the stitch right before the final stitch in our project. With only one stitch left in our program, I'm going to remove the hoop from the embroidery machine and take it over to our workspace. Over at our workspace, we're going to start on the backing for the mug rug. First we want to cut two fabric pieces about 6 inches by 9 inches each. We're going to take each of these fabrics and fold them directly in half. Next we'll lay the folded fabric over half of the project making sure to fully cover the right and top sides of the project. Next fold the other half of fabric, lay this fabric over the remaining half making sure to fully cover the left side and the top and bottom of the project. Choose one of the folded fabrics to overlap the other fabric in the middle by about one half inch. This part is optional, however, if you'd like, you can tape down the project where you see fit to help it stay in place. I don't normally do this because I've gotten used to keeping an eye on my project and sometimes guiding them by slowing down my embroidery machine. However, use tape and secure it if that's what works best for you. When done, let's return the project back to the machine for our final stitch. Let's connect the hoop back to the embroidery machine. Now let's run the final stitch, which is a tack down stitch and will hold our entire project in place. Once this final tack down is done, we're done at the embroidery machine and can remove the hoop and take it over to our workspace to finish up our mug rug. Back over to our workstation, we're first going to remove the entire project out of our hoop. Once the project is out of the hoop, we're going to want to cut around the outside of the mug rug, leaving about a quarter inch around each side of the project. Here's how ours looks after it's cut out. Next we're going to want to turn the project right side out. Take your time turning it right side using the opening on the back of the project until it's fully reversed. Here's ours turned right side out. You can see the corners still need to be pushed out a bit. We like to use the end of a paintbrush to finish pushing out the corners. You can continue to finesse the corners and the sides until everything is the way you want it. For the opening on the back, you have a few options. You can either sew it or you can use a piece of iron hem tape at the opening. Either way, 
Once this is done, the project is complete and looks amazing. You did great. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've just finished creating an adorable in the hoop mug rug fully on your embroidery machine. Okay, so that's how easy and fun it is to make these totally in the hoop mug rugs. I think they turn out fantastic and I hope you do as well. If you have any questions about the tutorial, please reach out with anything and I can clarify. And don't forget, you can grab the mug rug files over at allinthehoop.com. We have loads to choose from and we'll be adding tons more over the next few weeks. So as always, be sure to like, subscribe and leave us a comment. And until next time, we'll see you in our next in the hoop machine embroidery tutorial.